Naps are sometimes good, but it means you have to wake up from them. Good morning, Ollie boy. Good morning, Mary girl. Good morning. Good morning, people. It was a rough morning. In circle. Getting dressed is just so difficult sometimes. I'm just getting ready to go to church and finding it difficult. But do what you think you can't do. Mary was able to come to church and we had a good morning, but we're home now and she's doing some vests because her lungs are junky and so welcome to our day guys. Happy Sunday. Good morning. I just woke up from a nap, and since it's CF Awareness Month, I thought I would share a little CF fact with you. After, after, after a CF patient, well, I guess I can only speak for myself. After I take a nap, my lungs have settled for a little while, and <clears throat> once you wake up, your lungs start to wake up, and then it's a matter of seconds, minutes, until a really hard coughing fit. So The point I was making, naps are sometimes good, but it means you have to wake up from them. And the waking up and enjoying the rest of your day part, that's fine. The waking up that way is not my favorite, but yeah, so I, I prefer to get enough sleep during the night that I don't need to nap during the day. That's my preference so that when I wake up in the morning and deal with all the coughing, <coughs> I only have to deal with it once instead of going and taking a nap and waking up again. Does that make sense? Those are my random thoughts. Thank you for joining us for Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month moment with Mary Fry. <laughs> hey guys, I am making some dinner. We had a barbecue last night and we've got some leftovers. We have leftover pulled pork and some burgers. I'm gonna make best of both worlds. I'm gonna make a barbecue burger. And I'm gotta, I threw a burger on. I'm gonna put pulled pork on top of it. Just a little layer of pulled pork with barbecue sauce. But, guys, I really, really like, did I show you this, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I discovered this at Walmart. It's like a, it's called Super Blend. It's Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kohlrabi, I don't know what that is, but broccoli, carrots, and kale. It's really good, and um, I'm going to make that as like a coleslaw, put that on the burger. Um, cheese. I'm just gonna put all the good stuff on my burger. What do you think of that, Ollie? Does that sound like a really good idea? You loving like how we have our deck lit up and I like I like having these this furniture. We usually have it over on our side porch. Oh, remind me to tell you about my finger. Um we usually have it over there, but we brought it out for the party and it's kinda nice to just sit here by the grill. 
but okay story about my finger I was working on decals in our working room the other day and I sliced with an exacto knife like down the face of my finger and it's like this small sliver but it won't heal anyways the struggle is real it's not a big deal I just thought I'd tell you I have a band-aid on my finger anyways I better check this burger look who came out to join me you're so cute I was thinking the same thing about you <laughs> guys this is in the works I, I took some pulled pork heating it up here on the grill I threw some onions that had been in the crock pot with it um, threw it in there and then the burger the cheese is melting I cut up some of these pickles there I'm putting I told you I'm putting everything on this burger these are like my new favorite thing Grillo's pickles the hot spicy ones <sighs> apparently they're like a local Boston thing but they're so good All right, there it is. Oh yes, this is the ambiance. You got the lights and the porch and a taste test. Yeah. I think you could work at a restaurant. Mm. That is good, it's falling apart. Two thumbs up. And my brain wants to have a burger so bad, but my stomach's hurting, so I will stick with this for now. That'll be my dinner for right now. And then later, if I'm feeling better, I'll eat something. Oh, I, I, I never hold it like that. Right? Right. Never hold it like that. <laughs> my bad. We are running some little goodies and stuff to a friend who's not feeling good. So, hmm, breathe, let's go. This is gonna sound really bad for a second, but hold on for a sec. <laughs> I'm, I'm really um, excited when I get to, when my friend has something that is not contagious. <laughs> like when somebody is ill for a reason that is not contagious, it's like, Yay, I can like be around you or help take care of you or bring you something or whatever. Because when most people are sick, I have to like run the opposite way. And running is difficult. <laughs> um, no, like usually when people are sick, I can't like take them soup unless I leave it on their doorstep. I could do that. But um, I just have to be so, so careful. But she does not have anything I'm gonna catch. And so we are gonna go over there and try to bring a few goodies. So I'm glad that she has something I can't catch. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna sound like, I'm so happy when my friends are sick and not contagious. But that makes sense, I guess, right? It does make sense. Okay. We had no idea. There's a giant sunset. I'm not giant, but it's like, it's like great contrast to the gray skies today. It's beautiful. Did you guys know we like sunsets? Is that, I think that, I'm not sure they know that yet. I think if you've been around for any period of time longer than like a week, you might know that. <laughs> we do, we love sunsets. Mainly because we never get up to see the sunrise, so it's the next best. <laughs> That's true. Are sunrises better than sunsets? No, I don't know. I mean, sunrises are pretty cool, but sunsets, I feel like, I don't know. Leave in the comments what you like better. Sunrise or sunset? That's a good question. There you go. Mary's got a painting of both of them. <laughs> I just think it's incredible. I think it's incredible. I love seeing the variants and the colors and... Because they're always different. That's yeah. the thing. Like, it's not like, oh, it's a sunset again. Yeah. It's, it's never boring. To us. I just love to see God's creation... God's creativity in creation, I guess. Yeah. And it astounds me that, like, flowers, I don't know, flowers are crazy. They come out of the ground and they're different colors. Like, 
when the petals are different colors, like equally proportioned, one third is yellow, one third is purple, one third is white, or whatever it is. I think that's insane. Do you think that's crazy? It's crazy. So crazy. It, it just, just might work. When it went rolling, it's blurry. That was the effect we were going yeah. for. We need to get like a little holder for the camera there because it always falls. Right? Tips forward and then I go, ah. Uh. We are home, we are going live. If you're new around here, we go live on Sunday nights on Facebook, on our Facebook page, and um, we are gonna do the what's in my mouth challenge and I already have my first idea. So basically you take like a, a strange object and you put it on the tip of the person's tongue and they have to like guess what it is. And it's really startling when, you, when you're not sure what to expect. So if you'd like to see us do the what's in my mouth challenge, head on over to our Facebook page. Yeah. So are you. Thank you. Peter's exhausted. And rightly so. Long day. Yeah. And so, we mm. shall say, as always. As always, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.